Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Can you believe it? It's our last case of 2017 Panini Contenders Football. We will miss you, Panini Contenders Football. This is a 12-box break, and it's pick your team number 12. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting to the action on a Tuesday. It's a nice way to start the week. All right there, there they are. Last spot mojo going to Karen, who got my Raiders. There's everyone else. All right, good luck, folks. This is the last case for now. I've, I have a feeling we'll probably... It's not the last case for now. There's pick your team 12. Um, I have a feeling we'll probably get another case or two of this, right, at some point in the future. It sounds like something we'll dip back into. So keep an eye out on jazbeeshobbyland.com for that. Yes, sir, Hub, you have one. You have the you do have the Cardinals. There you go. <laughs> Not the cleanest pull out of here, but that'll do. All right. So we've got four columns of three boxes right here. There they all are. All right. Oh, an over under on Niners autographs? That's a good one. We usually do, I don't know where my card went. We usually do an over under on Mac autographs. The last time we did contenders, we put it at two and a half. I mean, we got three last time. I think two and a half is a good line. So I'm going to keep it at two and a half on that. Over under on Niners autographs? Uh, four and a half. I feel like that's a good line. Five and a half, maybe. Yeah, they they do have they do have a lot in this set. All right, here it is. Good luck, everybody. Kyle Kramer says he'd go over on four and a half. What about five and a half? What would you do then for Niners autographs? All right, so this is a long break, so settle in, folks. If you're looking for another break to do, I'm sure we'll have another one ready in about hour and 20 minutes or so. Hour and a half, maybe. So, um, but even after this break is over, there'll still be uh, plenty of time to do plenty of breaks. So if there's particular breaks that you see that are kind of halfway there or you can close to single digits, um, get us to single digits, and that'll definitely help push a break along once this one is over. Box number one. Good luck, folks. So we'll kind of uh, we'll hide that autograph right there. We'll kind of breeze through these. There's Marlon Humphrey. Rookie auto for the Ravens. That'll go to Victor Z. There's usually a decent amount of Ravens in every case, too. Or this guy. Wait till next year for Drew Brees. What a game that was. That, that Saints Vikings game was insane. This guy also wait till next year. Wow. 
Rookie ticket, cracked ice autograph, Noah Brown. 19 out of 25 for the boys. James S. with that one. I don't care who it is. The cracked ice is always, always look nice. There you go. These points take the place of an autograph. We collect all the points together. Winner take all on the points. We'll do a separate randomizer at the end. Titans needed this guy. We'll randomize these round numbers between the left and right teams too. Devonta Freeman. Blake Bortles moving along. Can you believe that game? Talk to me, folks. What did you think about the uh, – because we, we were here together on Sun, on Saturday, so we got to talk about the Saturday games. But we have not really had ch a chance to decompress from the Sunday games, at least with each other. But what is that? what did everyone think about the Sunday games? There's Eli Manning for the Giants. That will be for EA. Just the MVP contenders. Insert. Numbered. There's Jay Ajaye, Cracked Ice, 21 out of 25, Dolphins edition of Jay Ajaye. That goes to William Fulmer. And we'll, we'll have plenty of time to talk about all the future games this week. Still trying to, still trying to come back and try to digest the. Uh, the Sunday games, which are pretty crazy. There's Samaj Pirine for CO Turtle, 24 out of 199 Rookie of the Year contenders. Samaj Pirine, nice on card auto for Andrew. There you go, sir. Yeah, love the cracked ice, William. I agree. And we've got our first Mac. You're welcome, Andrew. Our first Mac, 189 out of 199. Return of the Mac, Marlin Mac. For the Colts. Colts autograph will go to Karen Steele. There you go, Karen. Let's talk about the uh, let's talk about the losers first. I'm afraid um, they were all great games actually, so no one really lost, I suppose. But um, let's go with uh, as we already talked about Saturday. Let's go with Sunday. Steelers falling to the Jaguars, 45 to 42, which was if there's one thing I was sure of. It was the score will not be forty five to forty two. If someone said, Joe, the score is gonna be forty five to forty two, I would be like, That's crazy. And and I'd I'd argue that I'd argue that if they played the same game with the same personnel, you know, same weather conditions, everything, if they played this game ten times, the final score line would not be forty five to forty two very many times. I think the odds of that is just very small. But there it is, 45-42, any given Sunday. And the Jaguars move on. And the Steelers, in spite of scoring 42 points, fall to the Jaguars. Don't really have a great offense. A lot of defense doing a lot of the work, though. Um, Fournette doing a lot of work. So what do you think? For, uh, so we're going to discuss the, the losing teams for a little bit here. What do you think about the Steelers, everybody? Where do they go from here? What do the Steelers have to do to get over that sort of AFC, to get to the AFC Championship, to get to the Super Bowl again? What's the what's holding them back? Or what do they need to do? 
I feel like there isn't much that's holding them back. But it can't just all be luck, though, right? Ah, William Fulmer saying it's time to fire Mike Tomlin. So maybe, maybe maybe they have the the pieces, the individual pieces. They've got the squad, but maybe just a fresh perspective on coaching, William Fulmer is suggesting. What does everyone else think? What do the Steelers do? Where do they go from there? Now, James David's saying Big Ben is done. So you're, you're saying quarterback change. And William also says get rid of Big Ben. So maybe, maybe that Big Ben era is over. So uh, thanks for thanks for thanks thanks Big Ben for all the memories. You're out. Maybe that's what it takes. But but who do they get? There's David Johnson, sixteen out of ninety nine. You know it's not easy to re replace a quarterback, a franchise quarterback. There's David Johnson, sixteen out of ninety nine for one, and the Cardinals. There's Evan Ingram, draft class autograph, 26 out of 49. EA Sports is in the game. Nice Evan Ingram, Eric. That is a uh, that's a that's a rare one to find. We don't don't find very many of these Evan Ingrams. One of the few bright spots for the uh, New York Football Giants. Swats countering with he threw for 460 yards and five TDs. They need a defense. What game were you watching? He says. Is that it? It was just the defense? Something's gotta happen though. I feel like I feel like they've been they've been close a lot of times. They're always in the mix. There's Hassan Reddick for one, that's Hub City with the Cardinals. They're not they're not quite getting over that that hump. Well, what do you think, SWAT? Mike Bobby's a big Steelers guy. So, like, so what do you, what do you think? What what do they need to do to get out, to get to the next level? Just to, is it is it defense? What about the defense? Personnel, coaching. Chad Hansen, better draft, better free agents. Rookie ticket auto. Eric, Chad Hansen, Eric Hansen. Who am I thinking of? Got a little fuzz underneath my nail here. Um, to catch a pass, Chad Hansen. That goes to the Jets, Jets, Jets. Aaron with the Jets. Swat saying TJ Watt is overrated. He, and he says they haven't had defensive backs for the, like the last five years, so they got to work on that. For the Fly Eagles Fly, Razul Douglas, James Macy saying that Ryan Shazier was missing, but surely Ryan Shazier could have could he have prevented 45 points? Just him? Giving away James Harrison, he wasn't playing much. Maybe. Yeah, Kyle Kramer also agreeing, hey, it's gotta be that it's gotta be the uh, defense. Defense let him down. Okay, fair enough, James. He's saying that, hey, yeah, Shazier stops the run. Stops for net. Deshaun Hall, or Deshaun Hall for Michael Brinson and the Panthers. That's true, yeah. If, if Shazier can stop at least one of those touchdowns, right? I mean, the only, Steelers only lost by three points. At that level, yeah. It's not like the Steelers got blown out. At that level... You would think that, sure. Guy like uh, guy like James Harrison, guy like uh, Ryan Shazier would have made the difference incrementally, and then bit by bit it would turn out to be, hey, you, you limit some of that, some of those runs, yeah. So where so so James where do where do they go from there? So is it just 
Is it just okay? Ryan Chazier's back next season. You know, find a guy, find find a a comparable. I mean, you can't find another James Harrison, but find someone as comparable as him again, and then and then just go again, and then they're they're set. I mean, they're close. They all, but the Steelers always seem to be close every year. But they just they don't quite don't quite have that. Maybe it is that defense. Maybe they need a shore of that defense. Cameron Hayward on, and they need help for Cameron Hayward on the other side, says, says, uh, says Mike. And he's, th he's thinking they also miss Heath Miller as well. James saying they need to fire Tomlin and relook at just all the defense. So I'm hearing a couple fire Tomlin, so maybe just a change of direction. Maybe a, a, a new voice, a fresh blood in the locker room may be what it takes to kind of kind of give the Steelers something, uh, make them a little different. You know, that might be it. Because I feel like they have the individual pieces. They're winning regular season games. They have the individual pieces. I don't think it's quite time to abandon Big Ben just yet. But, I mean, they got to find a, you know, they got to find a replacement at some point. But, but yeah. I mean, it's not like you get much for him, like, in the trade market, right? Unless you, unless they go for, like, Kirk Cousins or something crazy like that. But, you know, so... Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, well, I've heard I've heard that criticism too, James. The like I heard that maybe some of the Steelers were kind of uh, excuse me, we're kind of looking for uh, you know these points right there. We'll collect those together. We're kind of looking ahead that that they were taking the Jaguars game a little bit for granted and are already looking ahead to the Patriots game what they thought would be a Patriot game for them. Another Hassan Reddick for Hub City and the Cardinals. All right, there's a Marco Murray playoff ticket. And they, Titans could have used a DeMarco. I don't, I'm not saying that that would have given them a win over the Patriots, but could have used that. Um, playoff ticket out of 299, DeMarco Murray. And that's a numbered card right there. That's MVP contenders Aaron Rodgers, if he's healthy. 78 out of 199, he would be. Packers, Kyle Kramer. Swat saying, Joe, you'd like to get uh, you would like your Steelers to get Connor Cook and start grooming him because as he was a stud in college, Michigan State, right? If I if I remember correctly. <coughs> and there's Jeremy McNichols, championship ticket, autograph two out of ten. Nice low number for the Buccaneers and for Jake Rosenbaum. You think that you think that Connor Cook will ups might unseat Derek Carr eventually. Hmm. Not super I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> Twenty seven out of forty nine, championship ticket autograph, TJ Watt. Gruden loves him, and you think and you think cars are well. I mean, I love like ice cream. Doesn't mean I can have it every day or that it's good for me. You can love, you can love Connor Cook, but you know if he's, I mean, talent wise, I don't know, I don't know if he's quite there yet. Thirty out of forty nine championship ticket autograph, Russell Douglas. I don't think I. Don't, I mean, I personally don't overrate Derek Carr. I think he's, I think he's exactly where he is. No, I'm not John Gruden, but neither are you. <laughs> but I, th I don't think Derek. I don't think Derek Carr is. I think there are a lot of Raiders fans that do 
Oh, no, there's the Niners right there, Kyle. There's Cole Hikutini. But um, there are a lot of Raiders fans that, that, that both overrate and really underrate Derek Carr. He's, he's pretty polarizing. Um, but I don't think that... Uh, I think he's rated just fine. I mean, you know, he's not an MVP quarterback. I don't think he's, you know, I don't think he's there yet. I think it's going to take a while for him to get to that level, if he even does. But I think he's he's uh, he's a good quarterback. If the Raiders, you know, if the Raiders can have a, have a better running game to really establish that pass and you know, kind of do that that classic, you know, shorter pass kind of thing establish the run more and 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 then you know he still has the arm to go to go really deep well yeah that's the other issue too it, it would help a lot if he had receivers that could that could catch the ball a lot of early season drops by Amari Cooper he just never had it quite together this season I think he'll bounce back Michael Crabtree you know makes a lot of big plays but just if you watch Raiders games it just consistently drops like Passes a lot too, you know. Um, I think the coaching. Well, I think there were a lot of weird injury issues, and the Raiders just took a step back, like a lot of like some other teams did. Um, but I think it just. Uh, I think just the coaching more than anything, because I could understand, you know, maybe, maybe you, maybe you, you regress a little bit, you know, maybe there's some injuries there. And I, I get that, but the the coaching I think was what really bothered me the most, you know. And I'm not saying I know how to coach a football team, but but it just in terms of in terms of just like basic stuff they seem to be getting away from. It's like oh they they would abandon the run too early, you know, and then they would just go pass first a lot, and I don't and or they wouldn't make the adjustments. They're like oh this isn't working. Maybe we should try something a little different. That just didn't happen. So I don't think they were as, as uh, I don't know, what's the word? They, they were not nimble in terms of uh, readjusting their game plan when they, when they needed to. So, yeah, but I, th I, th I think they, need, they do need to find, they do need to find a, a good, uh, good running game. I think what, what people forget about the, the early 2000s Raiders that, that Gruden had, had managed um, Gruden had managed. They were, they were, they were great running backs. You know, great running backs. So, uh, which really helped open up the pass game. Obviously, there's Jake Butt, the the butt that Vic was looking for. There's Jordan Leggett. That's right, Jake Butt is a tight end. That one will never get old. Jets, 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 Karen with that one. I think for the Raiders, I think it was, it was a coaching issue. Rookie of the Year contenders, is this true? Will he get it? I think so. Chiefs, that would be Eugene with the Chiefs. Yeah, Connor Cook's got a got a little bit of a shot. Kind of in an unfair situation, but in the playoffs. I, I just I, he's just not ready. Not yet anyway. There's Buck Allen, championship ticket insert, 95 out of 99. I'd like to see Chris Long as a Raider. 
Ravens with that one. That'll go to John B. with the Raiders. And I think this was the hit that Sam was looking for. And it's out of 99. Kenny G. That's a sexy hit for Sam and the Lions. He was looking specifically for this guy. Be interesting to see how he how how he develops. Is that a Kirk Cousins autograph? Wow, MVP contenders, 33 out of 49. You like that? You like that? C.O. Turtle with the Redskins. I think he, this is like his third contenders, Kirk Cousins, that we've pulled him. But he hasn't, I don't think you've gotten this one yet, Andrew. But like the first couple cases, I'm pretty sure Andrew pulled a Kirk Cousins or two. And then now, here's another one. In our last case, 33 out of 49 MVP contenders, Kirk Cousins. Where does he end up? And Gilo asking, where, where, where do I think Jack Del Rio ends up? James saying home. Yeah, probably, probably at a golf course next season. Hey, you're welcome, Andrew. All right, next box. Hey, this is a long break, Gila. I have to pace myself. SWAT, as you know, or as you should know by now, train whistles are for out of fives and under. Kyle wants an MVP, Rogers. Where does Kirk Cousins end up? A lot of, lot of teams that need quarterbacks. Betty goes Broncos. Stays in Washington. Are they actually going to pay him? Andrew saying, CO Turtle saying Broncos as well. Browns. Broncos could definitely use him. I, I don't. Is are the Redskins really going to re-sign him? Does he really want to stay with the Redskins? I don't know. I feel like they they kind of kind of jerked him around a little bit. Will they? Won't they sign him? Oh, we'll just franchise tag you. Oh, and they never really seem to seem to commit to to that. All right, next box. Wow, oh, first redemption. Any guesses on this for bragging rights? For sorcery rights? You can proclaim yourself a sorcerer for at least this break. And look at this. Draft class autograph, John Ross III. One out of 17. Nice low number for Kyle Kramer and the Bengals cat team mojo. This will be randomized separately because it's serial numbered. 150 out of 199. Davis Webb to CJ Bethard.
Quincy Wilson, rookie ticket autograph for Karen and the Colts. Uh, Squad asking, do you think Patricia will stay with uh, Stafford in Detroit? Is he already is he already slated to be with the Lions? I guess I guess the rumors are suggesting it pretty that it's pretty close. There's Gerald McCoy, NFL Inc. autograph for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Jake. Jake, Jake, Jake. Tyreek Hill, 17 out of 99. By the way, James guessing Kareem Hunt on that. AJ saying Redemption is Worley. That's for the Chiefs. That'll go to Eugene. Don't need this NFL shop right here. Get that out of there. Joe Williams playoff ticket, 41 out of 49. The Niners might be a lot closer than we think if they, if they have Garoppolo. through these cards here. Have not seen any Camaras as of yet. No Saints as of yet. Here's our second Deshaun Hall though. Rookie ticket autograph for Michael Brinson. How long is Matthew Stafford's contract? There, there's some discussion about how long, how long will Patricia stay with Stafford? Isn't he, isn't he still in the middle of a big contract? The redemption is going to be Taiwan Taylor, rookie ticket RPS for the Titans, and James S. There's this box. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Um, what did everyone think about the Saints-Vikings game? What a finish to that game. Viking defeating the Saints 29 to 24 as a neutral fan um, I was pretty pretty amazed by the way that game finished someone was asking earlier who was it someone was at was it you James someone was asking earlier uh, who gets more or was it SWAT who gets more money in the offseason Case Keenum or no it was Enmar Nick was asking who gets a bigger contract next year Case Keenum or Kirk Cousins um, that's a good question Cousins probably, uh, but what a what a finish! Awesome finish, twenty nine to twenty four. Uh, a lot of points being scored in the fourth quarter. The game looked like it was pretty much done. The Saints had it. They they beat the uh, they beat the Vikings. They both fought hard, and now you know the Saints were looking ahead to to, to Philadelphia. No. Case Keenum and Stephon Diggs had other plans. What a what just a hail what a pass. The catch, the missed tackle by Marcus Williams, poor kid. I kind of feel bad for that for that kid. Um, and uh, and then off to the races. Marcus Williams was the last guy. And Stephon Diggs bursts down the line, stays in bounds. No flags in sight. 
you know, so. the race I thought there I thought there'd be like a flag I thought there'd be holding somewhere I thought there'd be some sort of um, push off or something like that oh James saying it's not a missed tackle oh because he let he let up due to him jumping too early on the play right he wanted to avoid the pass interference Well, history won't see it that way. History will see it as a missed tackle. 246 out of 249, LaShawn McCoy for the Bills. Evan Whopper with that one. There you go, Evan. James Davidson stun. It, it was stunning for me, too. Um, I, was, uh, and I was saying this earlier on air that... Um, I was saying earlier that I uh, was in the car and like the was listening to the national broadcast of that game. The announcers were going nuts. Another bill, Nathan Peterman, Mr. Peterman going to Evan again in the bills. Could have sworn there was going to be a flag on that play, but they did it. Uh, Swat was saying earlier, I mean, it would be crazy if to see the Vikings host the Super Bowl, right? How crazy would that be? Another redemption, any guesses? Well, let's, uh, talking about the losers really quick. And Swat was asking, how many more years does Drew Brees have left? Well, I think more because of that defense. They don't have to rely on him as much. More because of the defense, James guessing Galladay. Uh, more because of the defense and and their and Alvin Kamara and the effectiveness of their running game. There's Jehu Chesson, 18 out of 49 playoff ticket autograph for the Chiefs. Eugene. So focusing on 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 the on the losing teams for the moment. Um, then we'll get our early thoughts on the games, but. Uh, what uh? What do you think about um, the Saints? What do the Saints have to do to get over the hump to get to the next level? Victor Bolden Jr. for the Niners, another Niner. There's Alex uh, Anzalone, rookie ticket autograph for the Saints. Speaking of the Saints, Chris with the Saints, it's for Urban Legend. Saints, I think, maybe they don't, I don't, I feel like they don't need to do that much. Yeah, actually, I just looked up and James, James saying the same thing, Desha, another Deshaun Hall for Michael Brinson. Um, uh, James saying, was well, just bad luck, I, I, I agree, yeah, no need to change that much, I think, as long as everyone stays healthy, right, I think because of that defense, because of the running game. I think uh, I think that kind of extends uh, that extends uh, Drew Brees's career. The redemption is rookie ticket RPS. Another Taiwan Taylor for James. James starting his Taiwan Taylor PC. Sign your card, Taiwan Taylor. Next box, but um, I think that uh, yeah, the Saints. Re I, f I feel like really don't need to do do too much. I feel like they've got a, a really nice window here, with um, a really nice window here with uh, with Drew Brees and that defense. You know, defense will have another. It will have an ear ear of experience under their belt. Those two playoff games. That's good experience for all those young players. Um, They've got, 
you know, they've got Alvin Kamara bouncing out with Evan, Ing uh, Evan Ingram, uh, with uh, Mark Ingram. And, you know, EA says get Tay a new girlfriend, a real one at that, says James. Uh, but yeah, yes, I agree. Mike's saying, SWAT is saying, I think they could use a big play receiver, right, to compliment Michael Thomas and Ted Ginn Jr. Another receiver would be good. You know, do they do they need like another Jimmy Graham type of player? Maybe they don't need to do that. But I don't think they really need to do too much. Is it's just a classic like, hey, if they play their game, if they if and if they're healthy, I think they should be right back in the mix of things uh, next year as well. So, you know, maybe a mix. Yeah, I mean, just healthy. I mean, it's just stay healthy. You know, they have, they've got a young team, especially on the defensive side. They've got experience now. Just stay healthy. Keep doing what they're doing, you know, and they'll be right back into the playoffs. And, you know, they would, they'll have a good chance of going all the way, I think. But, that's uh, yeah, you're right, Eric. That is a tough division next year, though, right? NFC South, you know. Say what you want about the Panthers, but you know they're going to regroup. They want they want a decent amount of games. Are the are the Buccaneers going to be? You know, I don't know if the record really reflects what the Buccaneers could be. You know, so they could they could be a difficult one. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. But they've got a strong defense, a playmaking defense, and that could do it. All right. Another chess and another playoff ticket auto for the Chiefs. That'll go to uh, Eugene once again. Yeah, they gotta eat more W's. That's still that's still one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. Jameis Winston eating W's. Uh, it's almost like almost uncomfortable for me. I, Justin Davis. I don't think it's stupid. I kind of see what he was trying to get at. You know. But I don't know if you quite clicked with that metaphor that he was trying to do, Justin Davis. Rams. Uh, Derek Slavic with the Rams. A lot of people say um, w when you're doing something like that, whether you're a, a, a host of a show, stand-up comedian, a writer, a musician, a songwriter, uh, the, it's always know your audience, right? That's what they always say. Championship ticket auto out of 25 for Derek and the Rams. Know your audience. No, you know, James Winston trying to be a funny guy there, not knowing his audience. <laughs> it was it was very odd. It was it was kind of it was kind of cringy, right? It was a little uncomfortable for me. There's Carlos Henderson, rookie of the year contenders at a 199. Nice insert for the Broncos, Vic. I feel like I feel like if it was like a team thing. I think maybe that could have been a little more effective. Like if everyone was, was sitting there and eating W's, and I'd be like, oh, okay, everyone's eating W's. That's the thing that they do. They, they like to eat. They like to eat W's. That's fine. You know, I can get on board with that. But if it's just one person doing it, it just seems weird. We'll watch that video after this break. Doug Baldwin, championship ticket. Insert 14 out of 99 for Cruz and the Seahawks. Oh, no worries, Swat Brat. Got his Juju Smith Schuster autograph today. It's good hashtag Jaspi Mail Day. Trying to breeze through all these other cards here. We've got another Bengals autograph, another John Ross auto, rookie ticket auto for Kyle and the Bengals. See some bills coming up. Is this what I think it is? The autograph is guaranteed by, wow, NFL Inc. LaShawn McCoy. Shady. Buffalo Bills. That's for Evan. Nice, Evan. That is two out of 25. Bill certainly could have used him in the playoffs, but 
There you have it. That's a nice case thus far, folks. <laughs> Swat's like, you're awfully presumptuous, Swat, that why, why would we send you Super Bowl tickets? You think we're made of money? <laughs> Squad Brad confusing this with some sort of uh, some sort of Price is Right type game show where we're giving away Super Bowl tickets. Confusing us with some sort of local radio station in Minnesota where we're giving away Super Bowl tickets or car dealership or something like that. Nice try though. Wishful thinking. Someday we'll give away Super Bowl tickets. Not quite there yet. At, at randomly sending people Super Bowl tickets. Almost there, folks. Almost there. We've got about another, I don't know. I don't know how long we have. A while. 30 minutes. About another 30 minutes to go, plus randomizers. Uh, ridicule, yes. This is another case. This is our last case of Contenders Football. Oh, you're, you're on YouTube. There's a little bit of a shorter lag time in, in, in the, on the breakers.tv slash Jasper stream. Anything good? A Sean McCoy autograph, Evan Ingram autograph, Kirk Cousins MVP Contenders autograph, etc., etc. <laughs> Eric's like, I'll take some next year. Oh, it'll be in Atlanta next year? Well, that'll be kind of cool. That's a bright new stadium there. Oh, yeah, this guy. Alvin Kamara. Lights, Kamara, action. And that is for Chris Masoner and the Nolens Saints. Let's get one without fuzz inside. There it is. That's something good. Urban Legend is happy. That's what he was looking for. That's what he's chasing. This has been a great case thus far, actually. It's been very strong. What's next after this contenders break? I have no idea. Do I see it? Hold on. Let me look. Let's look at the computer really quick. Terrell Suggs out of 249. Playoff ticket autograph. No, no one. No one in the YouTube stream impressed with the Alvin Kamara. Ravens, that'll go to John B. I see zero orders coming in. So I guess we're doing nothing after this. People don't want to do anything after this. We got breaks close to single digits, folks. Jaspyshobbyland.com, so check it out. Nice, Eric, like, Eric likes the Kamara. There's Isaiah McKenzie, rookie ticket autograph for the Broncos. That'll go to Vic. That is true. It will be in Atlanta. The Super Bowl will be in Atlanta next year, but that Chick-fil-A will be closed. Chick-fil-A should maybe make an exception on Super Bowl Sunday. Everyone just goes to church early and gets, gets some Chick-fil-A afterwards. That's what I say. Got another Niner, Akello Witherspoon. No word yet if he has any relation to Reese. That goes to the Niners for James. Yeah, I'm afraid no, no Browns hits as of yet.
There's MVP contenders. 102 out of 199. Matthew Stafford. Swap Brat will disagree with that. Swat saying, you figured I'd be coming to the ATL, Hot Lana, for the Transcendent Party? No, I, 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 dec I declined. I said, I don't want to do it. I got to break, break Contenders Football with the boys and girls on Tuesday. So I, I said, sorry, I'm not going to go. No thanks. You know, give the first class tickets to like some, you know, Make-A-Wish kid or something like that is what I said. Give it to someone less fortunate than to me. I got I to gotta break with... I got a break with everybody here. 39 out of 49, Elijah Qualls. So I said I declined. I said no thanks. Got top Star Wars stellars signatures on jazbeeshobbyland.com to fill. That's what I said. I could have bought you a... Why would I buy you a cocktail? I'm, I'm the one going all the way out there. Man, what well, SWAT? Who, I, I'm, I think you've mistaken me for some sort of, uh, you know. I don't know why you're trying to trying to mooch. I don't know why. I don't even know you. you you've been here at Jaspie's for like a week. There's a lot of <laughs> people have to buy drinks for. A lot of other people in line. A lot of other people in line way ahead of you that would be like, why are you getting that guy a drink and not me? Well, Arthur I've met like years ago, so. Uh, the Transcendent VIP, I believe it was just a one person sort of deal. I don't think you got a plus one. That's how VIP it was. You live on cost retirement? So uh, are you used to getting free stuff all the time, Squat? Are you, are you shaking down businesses? Like the old movies of the 70s or New York cops of the 80s? I guess you're just used to that kind of thing. Don't you guys? You guys have good pensions though, right? Uh, William Fulmer, no. No dolphins, I'm afraid. But we still have 5, 10, 15, 20 autographs to go. Arthur needs a beer, but he can't break the diet. Arthur's looking to lose. Arthur looking to lose some LBSs for 2018. That's a good goal. You can have a. You can have a Miller Light. Marcus Mariota, championship ticket. 94 out of 99 for James and the Titans. Got round numbers. Jake Butt versus George Kittle. 153 out of 199. Trying to get Joe status. I got to lose some LBSs too. Return of the Mac, Mac Hollins. Oh, you're trying to get to pimpin' status, says Arthur. I don't, know, I don't know if the missus wants you to get, get to that status. Or maybe she does. There's there another Mac Hollins. We've got our first Cleveland Brown, Jabril Peppers. Oh, there you go, Nick Martindale. You are not going to go 0 for. You're not going 0 for like the uh, like the Cleveland Browns. You got this spicy hit right there, Jabril Peppers. Hot, hot, hot. Is that another Jake Butt? It is. 
playoff ticket autograph, Jake Butt, 61 out of 99. Another Butt for Vic. He's a tight end. <laughs> Doesn't get old. Because we're 12. That's why it's funny. There's the man. He was running. And then he caught the pass. Propped himself up by one hand and then kept running away to the end zone. That's what it looked like to the Saints. And the Vikings just just watching him. There's Stacy Coley. Rookie ticket autograph for the Vikings. Vikings auto going to Tom. Some points. Oh, Nick Martindale so happy with that Jabril Peppers hit. Got a heel click? It's pretty strong. Heel clicks are pretty tough. I'm envisioning some sort of a uh, Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka sort of heel click, Nick Martindale. Is that what you were doing? All right, next box. Three boxes to go. I'm getting there, folks. 15 autographs to go. All is not lost yet. Got to wait till the triple zeros are on the screen, folks. Play to the whistle. That's what we always say, especially with 15 autographs left. Definitely have to play to the whistle. All right, that's a that's a good that's a good heel click, Nuke Martindale. Nice. I think this marks the first time someone has ever said heel click in the chat. So there you go. There's that too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, this Sunday, we're going to be treated to, on the 21st, this Sunday, we will not be breaking on Sunday, we usually don't break on Sundays, but we will be talking talking about the conference championships all week long, today, tomorrow, all the way, today, Tuesday through Saturday, every night, we'll be discussing a little bit of this more and more as we gain more information about all these matchups. We'll start putting things together and seeing who we believe will win these games and move on to the Super Bowl. Early thoughts from everybody. Let's start with Jaguars Patriots. Patriots are currently uh, minus nine. So almost double digit favorites at home, obviously. Great home team. Um, who does everyone have? With or without the line? Let's not even worry about that right now. With or without the line, who just wins? Jaguars, Patriots. And as the week goes on, we'll start crafting some score predictions and all this whatnot. Brian saying Jaguars all the way. Mike Bobby Swat also saying Jaguars. Arthur saying Jaguars. EA saying, hate to say it, but the Patriots. Alex Carmichael saying Jaguars by 13. Wow. Patriots are notoriously good at covering. So. Carson Wentz at a 249. Urban Legend saying, do you want, you want me to do a recap of the autos at the end of the break? Are you trying to get out of not watching an hour and 15 minute break, Chris? That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like to me. I don't know. Everyone else sat here for the hour 15. Yeah, I will. I will. It is a long break. I can't expect everyone to watch an hour of this. Redemption. Any guesses? Any guesses? 
Brian saying the Patriots are iffy. <laughs> are iffy? I don't even know what that means. I don't know how a, a 13 and 3 team, 6 and 2 at home, are iffy. Josh Malone, another Josh Malone. No, your first Josh Malone. Rookie ticket autograph for Kyle. And another heel click for Nick Martindale. Matthew Days, Cleveland Browns. Brian saying, I'm a Cowboys fan, but I want the Jaguars to win. What is what does you being a Cowboys fan have anything to do with the Jaguars? I don't understand. 87 out of 99, or you just wanted to say you're a Cowboys fan. Oh, I get it. Well, yeah, SWAT says if the uh, if the Jaguars, <laughs> another Taiwan Taylor, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny, Jason. It wouldn't be funny. Everyone would be like, come on. Uh, there's Terrell Pryor Sr., veteran ticket autograph for Andrew and the Redskins. But Swat's right. If the Jaguars get to Brady like Miami did, then it could be over pretty quickly. Right. That's the thing. The Dolphins have, have put out a sort of game plan. Put a game plan on uh, out there on how to beat the Dolphins. There's Alex Anzalone, your second one there, Urban. But you did get the Camara, so that's your good shape there. James Davidson said the Patriots will figure out how to way to cheat. And it's James Connor for the Steelers. That goes to Jason McGee. Is that our first Steeler? Or no, we had a TJ Watt autograph earlier, right? I think we had a TJ Watt autograph earlier. Oh yeah, you 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 did. I'll I'll do the recap. I I have, I have all the autos kind of, kind of mixed up here, but let me bring these out. I'll do the recap after the last two boxes. All right. Yeah, listen, I'm not, as a Raider fan, I'm not the biggest Patriot fan at all. However, I don't know. And it's, it's I, I realize that it's fun to do the cheating narrative. Uh, you know, if I, have a, if I have a few adult pops, you know, maybe I'll get into it with some of my Patriot fan friends and, 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 and rile them up. But, I mean, do they really cheat any more than any other team? All right, last two boxes. I guess, I guess they do. They do film walkthroughs. I don't know if the deflated football would have done anything different, right? Maybe? I don't know. I guess I can throw a football further if it's a little bit deflated more. They're still a good team, though. But against the Jaguars, I don't know. We'll see. That's an interesting line right there. Minus nine on New England. Do I think Amari Cooper bounces back next year? Yes, I do. I think he does. I think the entire Raiders team had a rough year last year. You know? I think maybe, maybe Amari Cooper just wasn't quite 
I mean, he had a first couple good seasons. I think there was a lot of pressure on him. He didn't. He didn't have a lot of drops and stuff the year before. He was great. But yeah, I, I think he'll be fine. I think. I think. I think if uh, you know, if the worst problem that Amari Cooper has is his is his hands, which he had a season where he didn't have new shoe drops. So I think it's all got to be mental. I think it really has to be in his head. You know, whether he's he's so... Here's my feeling on Amari Cooper. I, I, I have a feeling that I think he wanted to be almost too aggressive. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, I think he's already making that first step, you know, um, up the field before he looks the ball into his hands to, to catch the ball, basically. You know, so I think he I think he might be doing a little bit of that. You know. So I think that's what kind of gets kind of got Amari Cooper. I think he may have been trying to be a little too aggressive, which may have accounted for, for some of those early drops. And then when that happens, that just compounds the uh, the, the issue, right? Once you start dropping a couple passes here and there, everyone's talking about you're dropping passes, you're dropping passes, bro. You know, like, then it's just like gets in his head. I'm dropping passes, I'm dropping passes. You know, like, I got to take it to the next level this year. You know, uh, you know, this is my, I think, thir third year, right? My third year in the league. You know, I got to take it to the next level. I've worked so hard in the off season. you know, so, right. You know, yeah, Julio Jones drops a lot of catches, too. This is why Julio Jones doesn't get a lot of red zone looks. <laughs> but he'll catch a lot of passes, though. But, yeah, I do think that Amari Cooper and Derek Carr will be, will be better next year. I think the Raiders probably going to – I don't know what the Raiders are going to do in the draft. Definitely defense, I think, for the Raiders, I think, is going to be a big thing they want to address. Um – and I think it's clear that if you look at teams like the, the Saints, the Vikings, the Eagles, the Jaguars, you know, like great defenses can can definitely cover up the blushes of of uh, the offense. Um, I think it's fine. Amari Cooper runs incredible. Uh, he has what they call in football, if you guys have played football, you know, the route tree. I don't know what the numbers are for the route tree, but but Amari Cooper runs a good route tree, is what they say. Very crisp routes. He's he's in very good position, which is why it's extra maddening that he drops passes. But but he has that, so he's very skilled at that. So if he just kind of looks at some of the other issues, might be might be in good shape. Uh, your first Packer, Kyle, rookie ticket autograph, Devontae Mays. He was kind of was like, come on, Packers, a little bit earlier. There it is. So yeah, I think it's gonna be difficult to really figure out uh, where, how the how the Jaguars are gonna do this. Yeah, the Raiders could use another wide receiver, and I think they may run Amari Cooper. Um, not have him out wide a lot of times. Um, rookie ticket autograph Raheem Mostert. I think they may. Run him out of the slot a little more often. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Michael Crabtree. I don't think the Raiders. I think he's. It's his last year. Maybe he's got another year. I don't know if they're too keen on Michael Crabtree, who decided to take himself out of the game in the last game of the season. So come on, Michael. For the Patriots, rookie ticket autograph, Derek Rivers. They could draft Calvin Ridley. Where is he projected to go? I don't think the... What round is he projected to go? I don't know if the Raiders, Raiders will go for... A lot of points collected right here. I don't think the Raiders are going to go for a wide receiver to third, fourth round or something like that. I think they're really, really going to go for defense. I mean, unless there's like just a can't, can't pass up pick, you know, best available... 
Deshaun Jackson, championship ticket insert, 73 out of 99 for the Buccaneers. That'll be for, for Jake. What about the other game, folks? Uh, Vikings at Eagles. Vikings at Eagles. The uh, Minnesota Vikings are our road favorites at minus three. Road favorites at minus three. There's C.J. Beathard, on-card rookie ticket autograph for the Niners. How many Niners is that now? It's a decent amount. James S. with the Niners. Oh, God. Crap cheat to the Broncos. I guess I didn't realize that there that whatever beef that Michael Crabtree and Aqib Talib have had um, goes back to like college, maybe even high school. There's a uh, Brad Kaya Panthers edition, thirty four out of forty nine championship ticket autograph for Michael Brinson and Carolina. Swat saying, I think it's the Vikings' destiny to get into the Super Bowl by defeating the Eagles. All right, that's our second to last box. Last box coming up. What, is there, what does everyone else think? James says, I think Eagles take it. Yeah, the... The... the um, the Saints, or I'm sorry, the Saints, not the Saints, the, the Vikings definitely have a really good advantage being at home, you know, so as a road team, we'll see. Whoa, this is quite a case. Mitchell Trubisky for the Bears, Tom Ewald at the very last box, and there's not, we don't see a lot of tr contenders Trubisky's out of here too, so that's a great hit. There's Dalvin Cook. Vikings have gone this far without Dalvin Cook and Sam Bradford. Everyone left him for dead. And they finished 13 and three. Vikings are a good team, folks. Don't count them out. That's, that's gonna be a good, I feel like both games, I'm pretty excited about the conference championships. I don't know where I stand, where I lean on any of these games, but um, I gotta do more research this week, but I'm liking what I'm seeing, folks. Jaguars at Patriots, that young, cocky defense, you know, upstart Jaguars going all the way to uh, New England, to Foxborough, to cause trouble up there. Everyone counted them out in Pittsburgh, and now look at them. There's our, like, eighth Deshaun Hall. You're starting your Deshaun Hall PC, Michael Brinson, whether you like it or not. Um, you know, then you've got the Eagles which everyone's like left for dead, you know, Nick Foles, you know, can't do it, their defense, whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's going to be a good game. Vikings and their defense and the way they finished the last game, that's a huge one too. That's a huge game. You know, do the Patriots do it again? Do they go to the Super Bowl again? That's crazy as well. Like, another Niner, Kendrick Bourne. Anna Kendrick, born identity, going to James S. and the Niners. Who's the best QB in the playoffs besides Brady? Is it Bortles? Isn't that crazy? Dust off your Bortles, uh, your Blake Bortles rookie cards. You guys remember back in the day, like another Terrell Pryor senior for Andrew. Um, you guys remember uh, how much the uh, those Blake Bortles rookie cards went for like a few years ago? Oh, like insane amounts. Insane amounts. All right, the last bit we've got 
an Austin Carr Saints edition going to Chris Masoner. That would be Urban Legend. And Rob Gronkowski is our last card of our last case, for now, of 2017 Panini Contenders Football. A lot of points to give away. Winner take all on the points. That's actually a lot. You can get a decent autograph out of there for that. Nice. We'll do the left right on this, and then this was the only numbered... Uh, round numbers card. So let's randomize those. Good luck, everybody. Willing to still have a shot on the points. Still have a shot on the points. So one, two, and three. All right, so we got left, right on those round numbers cards. Then we've got the numbered uh, round numbers card, Davis Webb. New York Football Giants and then San Francisco. And everyone gets a shot at all of those points. That's a healthy amount of points. One and a two. Three times for each list. Left, right, first. One, two, and three. Right side gets them. So all the right side teams will get these round number cards. Since this is serial numbered, 150 out of 199, we'll do that separately between the Giants and the Niners. Once again, three times, one and two, one, two and three. Niners getting it. That'll be for James. There you go, James. And all these points right here, everyone has a shot after three times. Good luck, everyone. One, two, and third and final time, that goes to James. There you go, James. A bunch of points coming your way as well. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our last case of Contenders Football. Thanks everyone for, uh, to everyone who bought spots in cases 1 through 12. We got through a lot of these cases very quickly. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We may get some more contenders, uh, you know, uh, over the next few weeks or so. You never know. Uh, but there's always plenty of football on the website. So keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's the website right there. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.